Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, let me tell you the story, my story of building the design system, which is uh, solving my problem, especially in managing design, to bring more value to the business. Let's start with the grow of the business itself. First, uh, based on my experience, uh, I work on a very a rapid growth business. And then with the rapid growth business, usually you have a faster product delivery. Yeah, because you need to uh, give more to the market. You need to deliver more use case to the market to support to being uh, have a hyper growth for your uh, company. And then with faster product delivery, there must be a faster product design. It can be for simply, okay, we need more faster designer. We already have the money. Just hire more designer. Yeah. It, it, it can be one of uh, assumption that uh, your uh, executive or your stakeholder made. Yeah, but unfortunately, it can't be that perfect, you know. Most of the time, business grow uh, more faster uh, than the design itself. Business uh, already validated, it uh, immediately have a more use case, more users, more customers, and more product need to be developed. And adding more designer is not a faster design process. I already lead the team at Tokopedia with a 140 designers. We still need more designers. There is still a uh, design needed on uh, every aspect of our product development process. And when I uh, lead a small team at OVO, we have around 20 designers. It's the same. Uh, there is a need for more designer. So it, it will be still similar. And here is the story of uh, why I built the design system at the first place. In 2017, my company, OFO, just start to operate. What is OFO? OFO is, uh, you can imagine, like Paytm of Indonesia. We are the leading uh, digital payment and financial service in Indonesia. We just started in 2017. And then in 2019, which is this year, we are already the largest digital payment platform in Indonesia. We, ha we have installed more in 100 million devices. We support more than 300K modern merchant and 200 K uh, traditional merchant, we operate uh, across 300 city. You know, uh, Indonesia is quite a large and island uh, have so many island, has so many city. Uh, we already uh, support most of it. And then uh, we support very long tail use case from the e-commerce platform, Tokopedia. Uh, you know, Tokopedia have a uh, office here in Noida, in Noida in India. And then uh, Grab, if you know Grab, is like Uber in, in, in uh, so this is, yeah, we are the main payment of them. And then we uh, operate for large uh, modern martel, uh, retail acceptance, fast, uh, fastest growing food delivery, and other use case. Parking, donation, you can pay everything using over in Indonesia now. And then at this stage, fast design process is needed. Why? Because we have to grow our use case uh, to be uh, much use case that we want to adopt. And then high quality, why? We know uh, financial is kind of sensitive industry. If you don't bring high quality, your user will be left, will be left uh, to another uh, company. And then consistent experience, why? Because our OVO, our platform, is used on all uh, or many uh, super apps. We, we must to maintain that uh, our app our experience, our module is same, is similar, so it can be trusted on across the, 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 the apps that you're using us. And then there is the problem statement that we found. How might we accelerate our design process to support the rapid growth? In just two years, we already solved uh, this, kind, uh, sorry, uh, this kind of use case. And then the second is, how might we drive consistent experience as open platform across touchpoint? That that the problem statement that I uh, told to my team and the to and to the stakeholders. To answer the problem statement, why? Okay, the first one is uh, the proposed solution is we need to reduce unnecessary works, which is how through the reusability. Yeah, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We need to improve the reusability. So can we we really works uh, something that matter, and then we want to automate the process. 
it's uh, more about clarity. Why? There is so many, uh, I can say, unimportant discussion like uh, what button that I should have and how the code written on the app and yeah, stuff like that. Why we are using this color uh, with the uh, single source of truth, with the clarity for everybody, we can uh, automate so many process. We can reduce unnecessary uh, discussion on it. And then uh, with the two point uh, uh, of this, we come up with the solution, with, which is uh, the design system itself. So what is design system? It's the most important thing that you must understand that design system is not only style guide, it's different. So design system is a living collection of reusable design artifact. I can say artifact, not only uh, UI. And then guided with clear standard so your R3 fact must have a clear standards to be called design system. And then uh, it's it to be used to build a consistent experience. So if you have design system, but you have, for example, 50 button, it's already on our style guide. I think it's not the right design system. You know, it must support uh, our aim to be a consistent experience in a most efficient way. Why? Because back uh, to the problem statement, we want to improve the efficiency. Yeah? And what is uh, what the artifact uh, that we built inside design system? The first one is design value and principle. Why? This is the most important thing. With the strong design value and uh, principle, we can uh, deliver or we can build the design system faster because we agree on the root of the design itself. And then the other one is design kit. It's kind of UI library or a component library you use on sketch or, or other tools. And then code library, yeah, it, this is important also. We need to work with uh, the developers. And then copywriting glossary, especially if you have so many uh, city with different language, different tone of voice, a differ different culture, you, you need a strong copywriter uh, uh, to, to build the uh, consistent but uh, meaningful uh, tone of voice or content or copywriting. And then flow, pattern, UX pattern. So design is not only its component, for example, button, but how we navigate, how navigation is built on our system or maybe how uh, we share on the social media, how the flow itself to be built on our uh, library. This is a flow or pattern library, or UX library, we call it. And then the collaboration platform. You know, design system is not only the artifacts, but how we work together in the most efficient way. That's why collaboration platform, communication platform, must be built to make sure everyone on the same uh, page uh, of our design system. And then how we build design system? I will show you uh, some steps that I made and yeah, several insights or mistakes maybe uh, that I can share to you. The first one is top level support. Why? Because design system need uh, a main supporter uh, to be used across the product, across the ecosystem. The first one is we need to uh, ask about dedicated resource or NT model to build it. There's so many T model you, you can have a centralized T model. You can have a, a, a segregated or, or, or separate uh, team member on its product to build your design system. It depends on the on the stage. But I will uh, share you how uh, I choose the team. And then uh, the pilot project, yeah, uh, to to sell the design system to the stakeholder, we are not implementing in a big bank, but we choose uh, one uh, project to be a pilot project, and we show the impact, the 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 metrics improvement that we uh, uh, achieve using the design system. And then, uh, what's the impact? Impact must be in their uh, language. For example, time or cost benefit or maybe uh, improvement on the app performance, like I said before. So it's more about impact in their perspective. And then, yeah, design system is a product, not project. It will grow along your business. Uh, business grow, use case grow, design system will be grow also. And then co-creation, this is the uh, important thing that uh, many of us maybe forgot. Design system, as early as possible, you must involve uh, other designers, other team members, other uh, developers, uh, other project manager across the team, not only from the central team or from your team uh, itself. And this is a cyclical team model uh, by Gina Bolton, it's combined it is a combination of federated or centralized. Centralized is a team on the central managing all the design system for all the uh, product, while federated is 
uh, they have uh, some of a representative to build the design system. We use uh, the combination. So we have a central team and we have a uh, like of agent, design system agent uh, that uh, divided into separate uh, product. I think based on my experience, this is the most uh, effective until now because we have a team that focus building it and we have agent who listen to our user needs, listen what is the best experience to improve our design system. And then design value and principles. This is the root of the design system itself. This is the uh, source of truth. This is the value that our user will perceive on our product through the design. So your design system must align with your brand strategy, with your marketing team, uh, what uh, kind of characteristic that your product want to be looked uh, uh, on the customer perspective. And then it will also the guideline of how every design elements will evolve, uh, especially if you know that design uh, is uh, is in natural is a subjective subjective way. I can I prefer this kind of color. I prefer this kind of shape. But with a strong uh, design value and why strong why behind it, we can agree on something that make uh, our process easier. And then build it together, which is inclusive. I already told you, design system must be inclusive process. And here is our uh, design principle, human life bright. My suggestion is make your uh, design system or design principle uh, as uh, useful and unique that can uh, be a difference uh, to, to, to solve our uh, discussion. For example, you can say that uh, your value is a good experience, but yeah, everyone uh, should have it. Maybe you can uh, see, do you want to be a bright, bright, for example, like uh, Airbnb bright design, or you can be more like Spotify, a darker uh, side. Yeah, it, it can be, a, it can drive our uh, design de decision easier. So make it a uh, very uh, uh, memorable for your, for your uh, product itself. And then the third one, after we uh, have a top uh, level support, we already have design value and principle. The next one is design audit. It's uh, usual. You gather all inconsistency uh, design artifacts, not only UI, but also code library, inconsistent tone of voice, icon, illustration, colors, uh, so every, every inconsistency. And you can prioritize which one you want to uh, optimize first. And then, yes, this uh, what I say, UI element, illustration, tone of voice, and then flow. Don't forget, you can already have a good design system, but users still have a pain of learning uh, your flow because you, you, you don't have a consistent flow. For example, how we navigate, how we do uh, content sharing uh, to external, how we create, update, and delete content, for example, like that. That kind of flow need to be uh, consistent also. Uh, Etc. And you can see uh, this is the uh, the sample of the old OVO design. You can find one, two, three, four <laughs> button, five, six, six button. That yeah, it, it should be similar. Yeah, that that kind of design I did. You just uh, screenshot everything, pull it to the uh, slides or any 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 documentation to 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 be uh, process it further. And then the next one is define the standard. Define standard is uh, a process how we decide uh, what our design artifact will be look like. Uh, the first one is this, uh, define it together using design pairing. Design pairing is uh, our biweekly process. We gather all uh, design representative from all the product and we come. It's easy because we are sit in Indonesia, uh, all of us. So uh, we come together uh, at uh, one space and then we, we share that we want to standardize this one. Uh, do you have any use case that you learn from your research? Do you have uh, any use case that can be input for us? And then we discuss there. That's a design pairing. And then we use yeah, atomic design from Red Frost. It's a, it's a good way to structuring uh, our uh, design system. And then it must be self-described. This is what uh, the, 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 the criteria that I can accept if someone want to uh, improve or put another version in a design uh, library or design system. If new designer, new guy cannot self-describe what the difference between uh, component A or B or variant A or B, it cannot uh, go to, the, to our design system. Why? Because based on the, uh, the purpose of design system itself, design system is to put more clarity. So it can, uh, be, uh, it can have a good clarity if a new designer can, can, can see what's the difference. Okay, when I'm facing this problem, what component or what design that I should uh, use. 
that's that's the the, the key point that I have to to uh, to be uh, input to our design system. And then find balance between consistency and flexibility. This is uh, the key point. Do you want to be a, a branded house, which is you have a one uh, one design system that very strong, and then you 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 uh, you keep all the products similar, or you uh, house of brand, which is you are you are uh, define the baseline, and then each product can have uh, their own design language because they they have their own several use case, or you want to have the balance between it, the the, the blended itself. It depends on your use case. Uh, and then line name and variant across design kit and code library. Uh, so when uh, it's called design token. So you have uh, you must have uh, uh, a great name on the on the uh, across the, the design artifact. So and don't forget to use versioning. Yeah, this is uh, maybe designer, most of designer uh, forget it. It's a uh, best practice in uh, engineering. You, you can use semantic version, three digits, you can Google it. And then, yeah, this is the sample. For example, we already have uh, so many buttons. We uh, standardize it. We give uh, uh, rules around it, and it can be consumed uh, across the, the, the organization. The third one, uh, the fifth one is, sorry, the measure the implementation. Why? Because, you know, uh, after we, we, we get a buy-in to build the design system, we have to uh, let the stakeholder know what, what's the impact and what's the implementation that already made across the ecosystem. So here is that I do uh, yeah, using uh, some uh, simple spreadsheets. Uh, I just put uh, pages and then list of component uh, and then total component and uh, how many components already live. And then there is a percentage there. And then uh, there is a approval from our site that it, this page already uh, implemented using Unify. Why we are doing this? Because uh, in this project, we want to reduce, like I said before, uh, we want to reduce the the performance uh, the, the, to increase the performance of our mobile site. So uh, we want to make sure all the design system component implemented across the page, and it also become our OKR. So 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 we we, we measure this kind of implementation. It's quite manual, but uh, we we we. We make sure that every design uh, participant or design representative representative across product uh, to fill this form. And then we also need to define collaboration process, which is we we define a chain request flow with a, a good SLA. Why? Because uh, you know our our deliver delivery process is quite uh, fast. We we have a one week uh, uh, one week. A sprint on our development site, so uh, we need to put SLA on the availability of the component. For example, oh, I need uh, a new type of calendar because uh, there is uh, some problem on the on our use case in our product, for example. And then we uh, we already research and we agree that this uh, part should be uh, moved to the design system. Uh, so so we, we 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 give the SLA that okay for X day we will uh, make sure your component is availability on our next version. And then we ha also have weekly, uh, weekly alignment between engineering product design uh, to make sure this is the EPD triangle, uh, which is to make sure that our design process uh, is uh, well organized and well implemented. And communication channel, we use Slack channel, and uh, we already uh, stay uh, there, uh, all of our team, to make sure that uh, any any problem or any 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 question can be answered directly for, uh, from our perspective. And here is uh, what I say the easy SLA. So we uh, put this is uh, the the sheet from the Google Forms. We only use a, sm a simple Google Form. Uh, what the issue and open it by uh, who and then open it at and decided at uh, and then the velocity. We measure the velocity for the decision. And then we also know, uh, write the decision and the notes. So decision is not only uh, the component availability, but what uh, should that designer do to, to, to move to their product. Our SLA is around three working days. So everyone who, who already asking a question about design system or proposing, they, they will have the, the answer in three days. Whether to, OK, you can try your component first because uh, every, everybody is OK, but we need to, to be sure to put it all, uh, in our design system. Or, OK, we will uh, develop the, the, the new version on the next uh, to sprint, for example. It, it will depend on the, on, the, on the use case. 
Okay, and then this is our uh, uh, some of screenshot of uh, our design system. We call it Raffier. You can see we have uh, typography and then uh, some component color stand color standard. And uh, on the left side, it's it's the implementation of, of the OFO. This is the OFO. If if you come to Indonesia, just install it. <laughs> Okay, and now after uh, all the step, uh, what's the impact? What's the impact uh, the design system made to uh, our business, our company? The first one is uh, to be sure we achieve, we solve our problem. We have a fast design process because we reuse instead of recreate. We automated decision making. Why? We already have a single source of truth and strong design principle. Uh, oh yeah, uh, one additional point. We define design principle with a workshop uh, with the C level. So so we have a good supporter. We have C levels and then uh, a manager across a division and some some designer and some uh, other product development team. So so it's a good co-creation. And then. Uh, we can focus more on problem solving instead of reinvent the component or 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 the other uh, visual uh, style. Uh, and then faster discussion with engineers because you know uh, there is a ping pong sometime between uh, uh, engineer and uh, designer on the product. It can be reduced uh, significantly because of the single size of truth. Okay, and then high quality, uh, almost zero repeated mistakes because everything already built on the design system. And then if we already have a strong uh, code library. We fix one and run everywhere for our design library. And then we have a smaller upsize, the load time, like I said before, from 10 seconds to 3 seconds. It's a significant one. And then easier to test because, yeah, we test once and uh, we can validate everywhere. Consistent experience, less user conf confusion, higher recognition on all touch point, all touch point, and it already trusted by users. And then this is the last quote that I have to make sure to uh, to every design designer that uh, asks me why we need design system, why it limit creativity, because currently we are not designing page, we are designing system of component. That's the new way to design. Yeah, this is uh, the summary. So the first one, get the top level support. The second one, define design value and principle, the strong one. And then you can do as usual design audit. And then you define the standard. You measure the implementation to show to the stakeholder. So the pilot project become the well, uh, well implemented uh, across ecosystem. And then the last one, collaboration process. Because once again, design system is not only style guide. It's not only a design library. It's how we work together in the future. Okay, thank you. Uh, if you have any question, we can uh, continue to the uh, question session. Yeah, thank just you. One, probably.